Way back when. Should I tell a story? <laughs> It'd be very unlike you. Long time before Mary, and I'd ever been to Texas, <laughs> there was a time I was looking around me thinking to myself, Paul, you like country music. You like western music. You like the imagery. You like the cactus. You like the... the what do you call those things? <laughs> oh, loud mouth whip. That's what it is. No, the, the six shoes, of course. All those things, but you're in Connecticut, you can't really write about that. So if you're gonna be in Connecticut, you gotta write about, well you should anyway. This is me talking to myself, by the way. <laughs> Gee, Paul, if you're gonna be in Connecticut. <laughs> I just turned into Bobby Crash. The, um, <laughs> you should write about things that, that are around you. So I went on a big spell, did uh, Never Gonna Cross That Bridge Again. There's a Norwich song that you'll hear some other time called, um, when the roses bloom in Norwich, and there was something else, and all of a sudden, um, as I was driving to work one day, I saw Logger Hill, and I thought, why would they log in Waterford? Like, was, there surprised. That, was there a logging industry in Waterford? So I went, to the, I went to the library, and I researched it, and it turns out there was never any logging in Waterford. It's just called Logger Hill because it used to be a bridge behind it called Loggy Bridge and then that became Loggy Hill but we for some reason turned it into Logger Hill because we're too lazy to say Loggy so we turned it into Logger Hill and it was just the way I pictured this song was that someday somebody in France and this is in my head would hear this song and they'd know it was in Waterford, Connecticut and one day when they were visiting New London they'd say look at the map or they'd say, look at Dima. On a beaucoup cher avec moi ce soir. Yeah. Is that how you say, say look at the map? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, no. That's not how, yes, that is how you say look at the map. Yeah, look at the map. It's like, so, 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 like somebody from the... Try, try it in France. Try it in France when you're there. Yeah. Well, they look at it and say, you know, we only have to go five minutes down the road and treacherous Logger Hill is right there. And they'd go all the way and go, what is this? It is a glorified embankment. So that made me laugh. I'm thinking that's, that would be funny if people actually visited Waterford, Connecticut. And just because of this song called Logger Hill, it was just like this. Just from France, but all over the world. Eskimo. There's a place called Jordan Village in the town of Waterford. It was founded by a preacher long ago. was built at the base of Logger Hill. Riptides pull people to the ocean to their fate against their will. Like cars and trucks, they're pulled down the face of Logger Hill. And sure as white lightning will go straight to your head. Logger Hill will claim the living for the dead. your wheels just as well. And it may be bought about in a village called Jordan, but when you're riding Logger Hill, you'll swear you're headed straight for hell. There's a church down at the bottom, and there's one up on the ridge. There's a warning sign that says 35. There on the bridge, you better feed your warning for the wind pulls at your door. You cry out with your dying breath, break pedal on the floor. For it's steeper than the steepest slope of an old wood roller coaster, and it rides neath your wheels just as well. And it may bottom out in a village they call Jordan, but when you're riding Logger Hill, you'll swear you're I'll 
tell you what, the first draft of this song, it, that's exactly where it ended. <laughs> it's true, but then I rewrote it and I put the final verse in and I think kind of wraps it all up for you. Hold on. <laughs> it's quiet in the village now. People are walking around outside. A nice sunny day. There's a semi up on the ridge of the truck. and little Jimmy Dickens, they share the same record company. And Hank Williams goes over to little Jimmy Dickens one day in the building and gives him a song and he goes, it's called Jumbalaya, it's gonna be a hit, record it. And off he goes, and two weeks later, they're passing along the steps, little Jimmy Dickens is coming down the steps, and, and here comes Hank Williams up the other side, and Hank's all excited, and Jimmy's like, what's going on, Hank? He's like, son, I just recorded a song, it's called Jumbalaya, it's gonna be a hit, he says. Little Jimmy Dickens never got to record Jambalaya. Well, that song I just played for you, I had written for my friend Joey Royale, and I stuck it in my, my uh, solo act, and he never got the song. <laughs> I pulled the Little Jimmy Dick, I pulled the Hank Williams on him, actually. And now I call him Little Jimmy Dickens. Anyway, I'll <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. Little Jimmy Dickens, you're up, Little Jimmy Dickens. 